Filipinos where, where they are concentrated in, in particular writings are going to be uh, consequential in terms of, of the outcome of the election. Filipino Canadians are one of the fastest growing demographics in Canada, becoming a political force to be reckoned with. Take a look at the Winnipeg North riding. More than a third of this riding is of Filipino descent. How they will vote will definitely have an impact on the outcome of this election. So it's in the interest of all the major parties, not just the Liberals, NDP, but the Green and Conservatives as well, to to target Filipino voters. The Filipino Canadian population is approaching 1 million. The Philippines is consistently among the top three countries for permanent residents admitted into Canada. Gonzalez says there are 37 ridings across Canada where the Filipino Canadians population was larger now than 2019. University of Manitoba Political Science Professor Christopher Adams says many ridings, especially ones in Manitoba, could come down to the votes from the Filipino community. There are some ridings in which uh, this population can have a significant impact. And in this election in which every riding might count, um, if there are 10 or 15 ridings that are influenced by the Filipino Canadian vote, then uh, you know that could swing, whether it's a liberal government or a conservative government or uh, something involving the NDP. Perla Havate, president of Philippines Heritage Council of Manitoba, says like many Canadians, Filipino Canadians want a government that meets their needs. She says issues she wants to see addressed, accreditation, systemic barriers and immigration. Family reunification and uh, I think being able to come here and contribute to our economy and uh, to make it a second home for us. Immigration, also a ballot box issue for Winnipeg North resident Pons Mapuyan. They don't have to favor Filipinos. Let us, I hope they would favor immigrants or I should say new Canadians at that. Make sure that their rights are protected. And as we know, there's lots of uh, Asian hate these days. I hope it doesn't, it doesn't uh, I mean, prevail uh, in whatever riding, in whatever parts of Canada. The Winnipeg North riding has been a liberal NDP fight for decades. Since 2010, it has been represented by liberal Kevin Lamoureux. Uh, I, I think of uh, the many different issues, whether it's the uh, health care, uh, immigration matters. Um, these are the type of issues that people are, are concerned about uh, and it's making sure that you're addressing them, that you're not only dealing with issues but you're out into the community. Lamoureux was being challenged by new NDP candidate Melissa Chung Mowat of Métis Chinese descent. Chung Mowat says Winnipeg North is a diverse area and she has been working hard to connect to everyone, especially the Filipino community. As myself, a young uh, woman of colour, it's been uh, building on the work in the community of young people, of young people of color, of young Filipino people who are working really hard and, and really working towards a better future. And so we're meeting people uh, and, and having really tough conversations about a lot, a range of big issues that are facing our community. Anas Kasem is representing the Conservatives in Winnipeg North. In Winnipeg, Alex Carpa, City News.